Godot is pretty cool because you can make things quickly. The workflow was designed for efficiency. Here's a few things that I found that you probably didn't know about, but seem really intuitive once you learn them. You probably already know that you can hold down shift or control while clicking to select multiple nodes or resources at once, but you likely didn't know that all the properties shared by the selected nodes can be edited, and those changes will affect every selected node. For example, if we select both a rigid body and a vehicle body, you'll see that we have all these properties to work with. If we adjust the position, it will adjust for both of them. If we adjust the mass distribution, it will work for both of them. However, we can't adjust the engine force because that's a property used by the vehicle, not the rigid body. When importing a bunch of 2D assets into Godot 3, you can change their preset to 2D pixel all at the same time. The next tip can save tons of time when messing up the proportions of your scene. It's super helpful to know that the numeric boxes in the editor don't just store numbers, they store expressions. This means that you could set the horizontal position to 4 times 8 and it'll just resolve into uh, 32. You can also cast floats to integers and use GDScript variables like pi. So let's say you have a house in a scene, but you realize it's twice the size you wanted it to be. Select all the nodes that make up the house and divide the scale by 2. Then divide the horizontal and vertical positions by 2. Unfortunately, you can't select them all at once and do this, otherwise they will all be given the same scale and positioning, but it will still save lots of time if you make quick messy scenes like I do. When you use Godot's GU UI to do things, it will do things for you. Some examples of this are when you drag a file into the script editor, it automatically applies the quotation marks for you. When you right click on the file and copy the path manually though, it just gives the path without the quotation marks. When you reparent a node by dragging it, Godot will automatically adjust its position so that it will visually stay in the same place. However, when you copy a node and paste it to a new parent, its position value stays the same, which means that it visually might move if the parent was somewhere else. There's some other things you can do, like dragging a picture file into a scene which automatically creates a sprite, or dragging a picture file into the material slot and it will automatically create a material with that picture as the albedo. Here's one more bonus tip for you guys. When you are scripting things, you'll notice that typing and opening parentheses causes a closing set to be spawned in. Same thing with quotation marks and brackets. This means that you either have to use the right arrow key, or heaven forbid, the mouse to go past that closing parenthesis. But like, nah. You can just type in a closing parenthesis and it'll merge in with the one that was already there, allowing you to escape the parentheses and move on. All modern IDEs like Visual Studio are the same way in case you're wondering. Anyways, that's all I got for you today. If you know of any more efficiency hacks, then leave a comment below. And as always, check the pinned comment for anything that has been missed or updated. Bye bye.